It's Tim and Tammy time. Yes, it is. And once again, we're riding through a cemetery. Now, this is one I haven't been to. I don't think I've been to it anyway. And we're going to be looking for the grave of John Pemberton. It was the inventor of Coca-Cola. And we'll talk a little bit about him. First, we got to find him. But we got to find him. But I kind of have an idea where he sort of might be at. So I think we're ahead of the game just a little bit. But there's some nice old well you know how nice are old graves but that's a baby grave right there yeah did they give you a street these streets are named i know they are but they're not named on my map okay tim and tammy time i am going to hand this over but we have found it Dr. John Smith Pemberton. Stiff. S -T -I. Stiff, I'm sorry. Stiff. Stiff. There you go. Ouch. Okay. All right. See all them Coca Colas? Ain't that cool? The most interesting parts, I'm, you know, there's a lot can be told about John Pemberton. First of all, you know, he created Coca Cola. And, and people say that there was cocaine in it to start with, and then there's others now who say, no, that there was no cocaine in it. But this is what happened. Dr. Pemberton was a soldier in the Confederate Army, and he fought in that last battle that I talked about over there on that uh, Dillingham Street Bridge. He was a part of that battle, and in that battle, he was shot, and he was slashed with a saber. He was cut open, and he became a morphine addict and he was a pharmacist so he you know was trying to make up something as a pain medication and that's what he come up with and coca-cola was started out kind of a pain medication you know most soft drinks did dr pepper 10 2 and 6 you're supposed to take it dr pemberton's his bookkeeper his bookkeeper is the one who gave him the idea to call it Coca-Cola with two C's. Originally, the cola was spelled with a K. Now, from what I've, what I've read, it was his morphine addiction that drove him to sell the company. But I've also read that his son, his son, Charlie Pemberton, had a great influence and wanted it sold as well. And they did sell the formula for Coca-Cola for $1,000. $750. I think I said that wrong in an earlier video. But his son died six years after he did. Charlie died from opium. So he died with a drug addiction himself. And I'm standing here looking at these graves. Okay, there we go. All right, okay, there we go. This is Dr. Pemberton's wife's grave. And she was left behind, and she was left penniless. And, you know, that often happens. But this over here is Charlie's grave. This is the son's grave. He was only 40 years old. Let's see. Let's see if we can... Charles M. Pemberton. He was born in Columbus, Georgia. He died in Atlanta. Now... Now this... Does that say Clifford... I think it says Clifford Lewis was his wife's name. I've never heard of a woman being named Clifford. She died in Walhalla, South Carolina in 1909. So she lived 21 years after Dr. Pemberton died. People like to put their Coca-Cola bottles over here though and I'm looking at that big Coca-Cola bottle right there, Medio Litro. So that's one liter. I don't know where you get one that size. I'm more accustomed to these little bottles over here. But I think that that's, this is where we're paying our respect to Dr. Pemberton. You know, Coca-Cola and RC were both invented right here in Columbus, Georgia. And they were both invented by pharmacists. I don't know if RC was supposed to be a good for you drink or not. I don't know who the rest of these 
grave right here, right next to them are. These are the Lewises. His wife was Clifford Lewis. That was her name. So that must be her family over there on that side. All right, well, so there we go. That's the story of Dr. John Pemberton, inventor of Coca-Cola, the liquid of life. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of our adventures, please subscribe. And thanks for watching.